Upon entering the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. They prostrated themselves. They offered gift, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These wise men came from far east. They discovered a star that was different, a very bright star. They went, and one day, that star stopped in Bethlehem, on top of a manger, probably with a lot of excitement. They gave of what they had. We should be full of excitement, anticipation, and us too. Go to this cave, go to the crash, and offer part of ourselves. Who heard the angels in the fields? The shepherds. So God came for the poor, but he also came for the wise men, looking for something, probably searching the skies all their life. There is a star for each one of us. Might not be in the sky, but God come and invite us in our surrounding, in what is familiar to us. Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? We may spend years of our life looking for that meaning, but then one day there is an epiphany. That neighbor needed you so much. God needs you there. Is my life defined by my work? Probably we are here for more than one reason. We don't see it from the beginning, but each one of us has a purpose. How Mary felt when she saw coming on the road those three kings. Who are those people? And I think she understood and welcomed them. We don't have much to offer, but here is where we are. I think it shows the humanity of what happened there. Mary gave us this example of welcoming, welcoming the strangers. And whatever we have, we should share it with them. Because nothing that I have is mine if it was not given from God. They knelt in adoration. Not only should we be demanding, asking, imploring, but maybe we should just stop. Just let this silence be fruitful. Just be in front of God. This is what the Magi did, but they have him right there. It's not easy to stop, just to let God talk to us. We are busy. If I stop five minutes, I want a result. But when it comes to prayer, that's not the same time zone. With the technology, we know what is happening everywhere in the world instantly. But if we disconnect for two minutes, for three minutes, and eventually it becomes easier. We need to find a way, whatever works. If it is reading just a passage and then meditating upon it, we always have time to check what's happening on Facebook. But taking the time to stop and let God give his light into our situation, we could use those few minutes. Why did they need to be three? If we surround ourselves with people who share our faith, we can move further when we feel it's too much, somebody, one of our wise friends, will tell us, you can do it. The Magi came from another country. They were invited by this star that they saw in the sky. They didn't have to go. And in our modern time, Mother Teresa, she saw in the poorest of the poor, the face of Christ. I like to see God that is open to everybody, that everybody is invited to this banquet. Do we realize that the day we were baptized, we became children of God? We will get a special call to go beyond what we think we are able to do. There will be people who will come to us. Sometimes we might say they're coming to give us a hard time, not knowing themselves they were instrument of God. We are never alone. I think of the Magi when they got to the cave. That was only the beginning. They went back, and now they probably felt compelled to share it. 2,000 years later, what the shepherds saw, what the wise men saw, we have seen, and we carry the message.